Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 15th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. We did have that strong X-class solar flare yesterday, and as well another M-class solar flare right afterwards. Strong one from outgoing sunspot regions, but producing an earth-facing coronal mass ejection. Having a look here, the last 48 hours incoming, we do have a couple sunspot groupings cresting into view, and as well, lots of plasma prominence dancing around the surface of our sun. And looking at outgoing images here, this is where we see the X-class and two M-class solar flares coming from that region. Amazing images. Having a look here, multi-spectrum pointing out the most recent events on our sun. And as well, pointing out the deepening coronal hole that is now Earth-facing. We can expect our solar winds to increase from coronal hole. Deepening cooled region on the surface of our sun. 171 angstroms here. Just some amazing images of our sun as we have eight sunspot regions that are in view right now. Sunspot grouping on the top right hand side that has produced all of the activity the last 24 hours. And as well, growing sunspot group cresting in. Eight sunspot regions. Having a look here at those sunspot regions in motion. The interact, interacting sunspot grouping outgoing. Space weather conditions currently we are still under a level 2 radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds coming in at 487 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing a Strong M-class solar flare after the X-class last night. And as well, solar proton flux right up into an S1. Solar storm impacts expected geomagnetic activity sitting at KP4. Having a look at the space weather prediction spiral here, showing a CME shot into a CME. This is from the space weather prediction center. Little green circle on the right-hand side is Earth showing from the yellow circle, which is our sun, a massive solar storm. Expected arrival date, December 17th into the 18th. As that was highly accelerated, one see me and then another one right in behind that. Long duration solar flare today. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral still only showing the most recent CME outgoing. Nothing has changed there. Looking at the highest frequency affected. North and Southern Hemisphere getting zapped throughout the day today. Long duration solar flare. Aurora forecast for both poles. as there is a high probability of Northern Lights tonight, Aurora Borealis. Not too much so in the Southern Hemisphere, more so in the North. Now let's have a look at Lasco 3 showing the space weather energy taking off from our sun. Multiple CMEs in the 48-hour period. You can see that one Earth-facing and then another one Earth-facing. When you see all the energy coming out around that center disk. Like that right there. And there. Earth-facing solar flares. Coronal mass ejections. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it's pretty quiet. Only reporting about 220 earthquakes across the map. 
largest being this 5.3 Edinburgh of the Seven Seas, St. Helena, 5.3 magnitude. As well, notable 4.6 earthquake here in Turkey, 4.3 there up into Pakistan. Philippines still seeing activity throughout the day today. About six earthquakes to the region. And then these deep earthquakes today in Vanuatu. 626 kilometer depth and 616 kilometer depth. Very deep earthquakes. Deepest we've seen all week long. Hawaii, lots of activity as well, but only reporting about 50 earthquakes across the island. And as well, notable earthquake there deep northern Japan. Quick browse here at the last of seven days for shakers around the world. As we are under a lot of pressure right now, space weather conditions increasing and expecting something bigger here. So heads up, stay safe and be ready, especially if you live in an earthquake prone zone, for instance, the Philippines. Now let's have a look at the air quality index brought to you by our volcanoes around the world. Showing no major SO2 eruptions here. Forecast models notable throughout Mexico, Central America. Looks like we're getting lots of SO2 coming out of um, island volcanoes through the Marianas Trench. And of course, uh, New Caledonia, Vanuatu. Overlooking Europe and Africa. Big plumes coming out of Mount Etna and Stromboli this week. Now let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com. Starting overlooking Europe. Big high pressure ridge moving in this week. And that is before a very strong snowstorm develops here in the long range forecast. Right there, low pressure system comes in over Finland and it starts heading eastward. Long line of moisture coming out of the Atlantic. Overlooking North America, parts of South America. Low pressure system heading across Hudson Bay and as well, st strong low moving across Miami this weekend. Extreme weather has been forecasted there for the past few days here with daily events worldwide, and that is still forecast to continue. Long range forecast, low pressure system, both coastlines, but still some abnormally warm temperatures straight across Canada and as well the United States. Overlooking Southeast Asia, West Pacific, and Australia. Low pressure system affecting northeastern Australia as it heads westward and then gets locked and loaded over the northern territory of the continent. Watch for that to continue to spin around the continent before it starts to head southeast. That's where you're going to see some pretty extreme weather. Much love, everybody. Heads up. Hope you enjoyed the show and thanks for following along. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.